What's up, guys? I'm Michael Anthony of popartav.com. Welcome to episode 13 of The Beat on the Street. Summer's in full swing and it's starting to get hot. In this show, I have many awesome music videos and an interview with Star Madman. Let's get it started off right with a new music video from Polaroid Time, followed by a live performance from Space Band 1981, as well as new music from Bending Grin and The Sub Theory. Let's check it out. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's go. We're going to start the show now.
Hey, Tom, you got a quarter? Give me a minute. I gotta go to the change machine. Hurry up. Someone beat my damn high score. Ah, I can't believe this. Give me a break. Wait a sec. There's one in the coin return. <laughs> I'm feeling lucky. I'm queen of Galetti in your fire fussy fantasy. A sexy lady Gallagher, my Orbitron is ecstasy. Space A Superman, give me your Cobra Command. My empire strikes back with space greater contraband. Uh huh, you know I do. Let's go, let's go.
I just want to say thank you for all of the likes, comments, subscriptions. I really appreciate everyone checking out my show. Also, a big thank you to Retro Reverb Records and Retro Synth for all of your support. Let's get right back into the music. To the video from Merlin, Circuit 3, Cool Mo Wee, and Pensacola Mist.
This here's Marie, and we're in Oxford Studios, dig? You know, when I bring in artists to make gold records here, they only get to record if they watch Beat on the Street with Michael Anthony. Otherwise, what's the freaking use, you bum? So do you all a favor, watch the show, huh? It's really good. Then we'll make some gold records, you and I. Hope everyone has been enjoying the show so far, and don't forget to check out my Tee Public shop to find some merch such as t-shirts, mugs, stickers, magnets, and much more. All of this can support my show and also my website at popbardev.com. Coming up is videos from Neutron Soltis, Ernest Moon, Chris Kia, and a new track from Fixions featuring Ice Keen.
melting separation phase. So loveless and cruel 
Welcome back to the show. Don't forget to check out the video description box below for all musician links and a timestamp so you can always come back and check out each video. If you're on social media, you could also check me out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Next up is Pennies by the Pound, Seal Party, and No Serial Killer. Followed by an interview with Star Madman.
Okay, guys, I'm here today with Star Madman. How are you today? Thank you for taking the time to be on the show. Yeah, I'm doing okay. How are you? Good. Awesome. It's great to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Um, so how would you describe your music? Um, I would say it's kind of just um, various genres of electronic music. Um, I mean... It's kind of all over the place in a way, but I'm influenced by like um, new wave um, dance music, like techno and house and um, other stuff like that. And like electronic music, like in trip hop as well. So it's kind of all over the place, industrial as well, but I don't really like think that comes through much in my music, but um, I just, you know, get inspired by different electronic music and kind of just write it out and, stuff like that it's kind of hard to explain since it's not like a specific genre Mm -hmm. i guess so pretty much like electronic music basically yeah Yeah. (laughs) the many genres of electronic (laughs) sure yeah um so um where did you grow up i grew up in um choctaw oklahoma um which which is like a little suburb east of oklahoma city um and midwest city too which is kind of close to it um uh, yeah, I went to high school and junior high and all that stuff over there. Um, and then kind of migrated towards like Oklahoma City proper. Um, and it's, you know, it's a small town sort of vibe, but um, That's cool. there's some good, good people here. So it's That's good. awesome. That's really cool. How, how did you, um, how did you get into music? Was it something that you started at a young age or? Yeah. Um, <sighs> so when I was four, my mom and my grandma, I guess they had like a a little upright piano and I played um, memory by from the musical cats. Um, I heard it on like a music box and I played the melody for it. And they were like, we need to get her in piano lessons. And so from ages four to 12, I did piano lessons. Um, I started writing original music around 10, um, which was just like silly, like kid music. Like it just like, I don't know. Um, But um, and then in band, I was in uh, junior high and high school band at the percussion and mallets. Um, and then I like got a guitar and bass when I was 16 and a drum kit. So I just kind of acquired instruments, um, you know, taught myself how to play some of them and, um, you know, learn other stuff by, you know, school or lessons and stuff like that. Oh, wow. That's mm-hmm. really awesome. I always heard <laughs> once you learn how to learn uh, how to play a piano, you could play other instruments. I think that's very true. I really do. Um, yeah. Although uh, I would say guitar is pretty difficult because the scales are quite different because you have different scales for each string and then have to kind of figure that out um, across six strings. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's cool though. You were four years old, you said, right? You started playing. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. I was really young. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So um, Sick House is uh, one of your recent releases. Mm-hmm. So what was like the creative process behind that track? So I sent Eula Lee the, um, just like the, the bones of it. Um, and she sent it back to me um, like months later. We, you know, just take our time and make it good. You know, as long as it takes is, you know, what works. Um, and she sent me back this amazing like vocal work. She, you know, layered multiple harmonies, multiple like, I don't know, like percussive sort of stuff with her voice. She did some really cool stuff, like awesome, like processing and effects. Um, and so after that, I got it back, did some editing and chopping and stuff and kind of arranged the song um, to, to fit, just to make it sound better. Um, mm-hmm. I added some more synths and stuff like that. And um, we were like, this is, you know, this is it and released awesome. it. 
yeah, it was pretty simple for that one. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, and then before that, oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I said she's just really talented. She's, she's a badass for sure. That's really cool. And then also before that you had, um, close to you, I believe Mm -hmm. would elevate the sky. Yeah. That was also an awesome track as well. He um, sent me the music for that, and um, I just heard the melody. Or I think we posted a video on social media of us like jamming it out, um, and then like the lyrics kind of came in. Um, we wanted to write a love song because of the the tone of the song; it's very ballad esque, and so we um, just went that direction. Um, I did the lyrics and the vocals and my processing, and then. Um, mixed all that into his track that he gave me and then, um, you know, sent it off for distribution. And I think it's a really solid, like throwback eighties retro sort of ballad track. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that one. And Scott's awesome to work with. So, yeah. Yeah. Scott was great. I Mm -hmm. I always like conversations with him. (laughs) (laughs) The, um, what do you call it? The the video too was awesome as well. You guys get that video. That's all him. He right. did fantastic work, like with the editing and ah, oh, gosh, yeah, it's just awesome. like heartstrings that really pulls on you. So that's yeah. really cool. So I know um, I could find some of your music on Bandcamp. Mm-hmm. Um, what other platforms were you on? Music platforms. Um, besides, like the main um, streaming sites, like Spotify and Title and. Um, Gosh, there's so there's so many. Um, I should be on all of those, and then also um, I put myself on SoundCloud as well, because okay. um, I know it's a little bit more accessible. Uh, and I think that's a, about it. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. I'll leave links as well too in the description box. Everyone can check it out. Um, so before we wrap up the interview, um, did you have any uh, announcements? Anything? Any future plans for the rest of 2022? Oh, so many. <laughs> um, I have a few more collabs coming out um, with like, so there's so many people. I'm going to list just a few of them. Um, Tara Bud, um, Max Silver, uh, Blue Nagoon. Um, awesome. Some other ones coming up. Uh, and then I have a, um, a solo track called The Channel. Um, it's a two track single. There's the instrumental and there's the, um, the vocal version. Um, and that's coming out June 3rd, um, which was inspired by Survey Channel's music and a little bit of a sense, um, and also inspired by the track Something We Get This Way comes from the Lost Highway soundtrack. Um, it's very loungy and kind of different than what I've been doing, but I, oh, just, wow. I liked it. I want to put it out. So. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, again, um, thank you. I appreciate taking the time to be on the show. Thank you. Um, I'm going to try to play one of your tracks now as well, too. So we oh, awesome. can hear your songs. Cool. guys it's about that time to wrap up another show big thank you to star madman for that awesome interview also thank you to retro reverb records and retro synth for all of your support don't forget to check out episode 14 of an interview 
with Cat Temper and episode 15 with an interview with Alpha Chrome Yayo. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Breaks in the flat line.